So someone here has been very clever and they've invented their own algorithm and they want to know how can they get it used. Well, the first thing that most amateurs would think they should do is patent the algorithm. But it turns out in cryptography, if you patented the algorithm, that's a surefire way of not getting it used. Because cryptography is used to communicate between different entities, all entities have to have access to the algorithm. Therefore, for example, you could imagine Google wants to talk to Microsoft. Google is not going to use a Microsoft patented algorithm and Microsoft won't use a Google patented algorithm. So they only use algorithms which are not patented because then they're both working on equal footing. So the first answer to the question is, is don't patent it. The second answer is you have to do a very thorough security analysis. You have to understand that your algorithm really is secure. And that is really tough. You're going to need to be able to produce it's what we call a proof of security, which means you need to do a lot of mathematical analysis of your algorithm. Just working out that you can't break it is not good enough because that's just you can't break it. If we deploy an algorithm, it's not, we're not just interested whether you can break it, we're interested whether a very large organization can break it or the cleverest minds on the planet can break it. So to do that, we have to prove that you can't break it. And so therefore we need a mathematical proof. So don't patent it find a good mathematician to provide a mathematical proof who understands cryptography. And third and foremost, you get it standardized. So that means that you go to a standards body, um, for example, the IETF, which looks after the internet, or the American standards body, NIST, or ISO, the Euro International Standards Body, and you get your algorithm standardized. So there are three basic steps, and then you've got to be lucky that people actually want to use it, that it gives some benefit over existing algorithms and enough of a benefit that it's worth people changing what they're currently doing. We have a question on, for what applications is secure MPC most done in practice? Well, there are a number of ones. The first one is really securing data within an organization. So if you have secrets within an organizational network, you want to protect those. And we use multi-party computation to split the secrets up into multiple secrets, multiple separate parts such that you can't recover the actual data. Other applications are securing corporate information or, for example, two parties coming together wanting to produce some output, for example, working out an auction or a voting protocol. S someone's asked whether it's able to bioengineer public key encryption into human voice. No. Next question. <laughs>